Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create database snapshot. Uh, first thing we're going to do in this video is using a T-SQL script to create a database snapshot. And then what we're going to do is using SQL Server Management Studio and view that snapshot we just created using T-SQL script. After that, we create the snapshot. We're going to look, uh, make some changes to the original database that we have taken the snapshot off and then restore database using that snapshot that we just created of that particular database. Uh, before we go ahead and do that, there are uh, multiple scenarios that you where you need database snapshot, but uh, I'm going to talk about a couple famous one. Number one, that um, if you are looking to restore your database current state rather quick, uh, uh, rather than using backup and restore option from DBS, you can go ahead and take a snapshot of that database and start doing your deployment and let's say that it's a big deployment and you don't know if something goes wrong in production server let's say that if it, it does go uh, wrong something goes wrong in that production server uh, on that particular database that you would have a, a quick way to restore that database and quick way to restore that database is use that snapshot and restore that database and the second uh, scenario is that um, let's say there are uh, some requirements from business that they are going to do uh, some calculation and manipulation of data on that particular uh, database. However, they don't want that uh, those manipulation to be permanent on that database, and they wanted to just go ahead and do the manipulation and do their reporting once they're done. Uh, that data that they have inserted or whatever the calculation they did on that particular uh, database is uh, really not in use. So what you can do is create a database snapshot and have them connect to that particular snapshot and they will go ahead and do all their calculation or changes that they wanted to make the, in that particular snapshot and create their reports. Once they're done, you can go ahead and delete that snapshot. That way your original database is not impacted with those changes. So these are the big two things that uh, why we create a database snapshot. But for most thing really is the uh, um, quickly restore the current state of the database. So let's go ahead and uh, do the um, use use the uh, transactional SQL script to create the snapshot. Here's my uh, server. I'm connected with my SQL server, so I'm going to go ahead and use sales order database, and I'm going to create a snapshot of that sales order database. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new query, and I have already uh, created the script. This is the script to create the snapshot. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, use this name sales order underscore uh, uh, dbss on uh, sales order this is my data file keep in mind that you need to make sure that you give the data file right name otherwise it will give you an error if you don't know how to uh, find the data, uh, data file name you can go ahead right click on that particular database go to properties and go to files and right here is the logical name of that data data file so you need to give this name correctly of the database that you're going to snapshot and this is where you wanted to store your snapshot so this is the file path I'm going to store it in Microsoft SQL server uh, folder and sales order current state dot snapshots uh, right here SS uh, is my extension and that will tell me that it's a snapshot of that particular database so um, if I need to restore it, I can go ahead and use this file to restore the database. And which databases you need to do the as snapshot of? Sales orders. Whatever your database that you wanted to create a snapshot of, you need to provide that database name right here. So let's go ahead and run this command. As you can see that uh, the command completed successfully, that means that we have this snapshot already created. Let's look at the right here there is no snapshot as you can see right now if we refresh this and click on plus sign you will see that right here was our name and sales order underscore dbss the snapshot is created let's see that if it looks the same we have one table in our database this is just for the demo purposes as you can see and let me show you the original database original database look like this so we captured the current state of this particular database so we're good to go 
Now, uh, this is where you will make all your uh, deployment uh, to the original database right here. This is the first scenario I was talking about. But uh, the second scenario that I was talking about, this right here, is your snapshot, and you can give your, uh, you can uh, basically direct your client connection which is your business in the second scenario if you wanted to uh, look at that way you can go ahead and direct your client uh, connections to sales order underscore dbss and they will make all the changes that they wanted to make in this particular snapshot make their reports once they're done you can go ahead and delete that database uh, snapshot right here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make changes to the original database so I'm going to go ahead and close this. So let's say that uh, this is our deployment and in our deployment something uh, I'm going to one of the a part of our deployment is go ahead and delete the customer table. So we're going to go ahead and delete the customer table. As you can see the customer table is deleted and now I think oh I made a mistake. So this didn't go right so what we're gonna do uh, we have an option that we got a snapshot right here and we can go ahead and restore this database from a snapshot right away our snap snapshot captured the current state before we made any changes to our database so we're gonna go ahead and restore our database uh, using this snapshot so we're gonna go ahead and uh, load the script to restore the database from the snapshot up here uh, just before we do that uh, in order for up here uh, for us this is create database wrong uh, script so we're gonna go ahead and load the right script which is restore snapshot right here as you can see right here I have a sales order underscore DBS let's take a look right here is our database so you can also take a look if you do select asterisk from sys dot databases we're gonna run this command and see if that database is there this is our snapshot right here uh, sales order DBSS you can copy it from here and paste right here so uh, this is the command to restore the database from the snapshot database underscore snapshot and you need to give the name of that snapshot right here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, run this command and see if our table uh, basically which is um, right here customer table um, which we made changes and um, we thought that that wasn't a good idea so we're gonna go ahead and revert our database back to the original state rather quick so we're gonna go ahead and run this command as you can see the command completed successfully so we're gonna go ahead and refresh our original database and go in the table and see right here is our DBO customer table so uh, this is one way that uh, uh, the first scenario that I discussed that um, you know uh, you make some changes and uh, uh, the deployment doesn't go well so you need to restore the database uh, prior to all the deployment that you did so this is the best way to do it and other uh, op, uh, scenario that I discussed that once your business is done making all the changes in the snapshot and let me show you right here you can just go ahead and um, connect to that particular this will behave as a, a database so you can direct all the con client connection to this uh, particular snapshot and they will make all the changes whatever they wanted to make this will not impact your original database and get their reporting going once their uh, reporting is done you can go ahead and right click and click on delete delete this snapshot make sure that you click on close existing connection because if there is a connection open to this uh, uh, particular snapshot it's not going to let you uh, delete this snapshot so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on close existing connection and click OK so these are a couple of the scenarios that uh, I wanted to discuss with you and I uh, wanted to show you how to create a snapshot and uh, how to uh, basically restore your database how to make changes in your original database and if those changes don't go good then you're gonna go ahead and uh, restore it from the snapshot so up here um, 
we discussed uh, all that using uh, transactional SQL script. We did create a snapshot. We view the snapshot using SQL Server Management Studio. We make the changes in original uh, database and then we restore database using snapshot and I hope this video helps.